Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we are back in the project at Adventure Avenue scene. We will drop down this menu where we will delete the continue button and the new button. And we will delete the title. So I will click the main menu canvas, go to the scene, and click it again, and right click. We will create an empty game object and call it black screen. And we will add an image through the component in the inspector, making sure we've clicked on black screen object. And then click the image, and as you can see, it is now displayed. I will just change the color to a different color. It's supposed to be a black screen, but I'm just using color so that we can see it. Of course it should be bigger, so you can just come over back into the scene, into the rec tool, scroll out a bit. Press the left button down and move it. And you can even not even click that, the move tool. If you just click left and hold it down, you can move it wherever you like. So I'll just move it up a bit. And we'll keep it there so you can see it disappearing once we've got the code going. Now we will click back into the main menu canvas, right click, empty game object, and we will call it pause panel, clicking into it again. And this time in the rect transform, we will click the middle center transform tool here, and we will hold down shift and then alt, and come down to where it says stretch, and then stretch. So we want it to stretch across the screen. And what we will do is add an image component and now you see it's stretched across the screen. And we will just change the size of everything. So we have left top right bottom all 44 Just going to save it. Now we will add a text, Text Mesh Pro, and label it Pause Text. So we'll click into it and say Pause Game. I will scroll down a little bit, change the color so we can see it, and the size, making sure it is aligned in the center on both, and bold, and making sure we clicked on the object we want to transform the size, and here's the rect tool again, and I will just move it up here. You can see it in the game view. We will now add a resume button. So making sure we're on the pause panel, right click, UI, button text mesh pro, and call it resume button. Scrolling down in the inspector, adding an on click method, dropping the parent down to the child object, and we come back 
and we call it resume, making sure we are uh, have the parent object and the child object selected and then with the rec tool transform it again to the size that we want I am just going to move it here and then we are going to control and duplicate to make a options button drop the parent down to access the text, child, and label it options, and then control C, D again, and this time we'll label this one level select button. Dropping down the parent to access the child and call it level select. And I forgot to make the text size bigger. Sorry about that. So I've highlighted just the text, just the children components of each button by holding down control and then selecting it and then in the inspector I'll change the size to 60 and now it's all back to normal I will duplicate it once more time and this time I will call it the exit button And I will highlight all the buttons, clicking here, and holding Shift, Alt, and then centering it. And I will go to the Move tool, and then holding Control, Press the left button to unselect resume, dropping the other buttons down, once again let go of the options, and then level select, and there's our buttons. But what we need to do now is click back on the main menu canvas right click, empty game object and options panel and we will add an image component to it again I will change the color of course ignore the color scheme here this is just to show the different aspects of everything And making sure we have selected the options panel, we will click the rect transform and we will make it stretch. And we will change the size with left 3 3 and right 3 3. And in the top and bottom to be 55 and 55. We will make sure we're clicked on the options panel, right click, go to UI and text. And we will label it title options text. And of course in the inspector, label it options because this will be our options panel that pops up when we click the options button. 
making sure the font size is big enough to read and to make it look better just align it in the middle and making sure we have clicked the options text not the options panel the options text go back into scaling tool and we will go move it right here first let's center it shift alt center but then we shall place it over here and that is for when we build it out that it stays the same consistency throughout each different screen sizes that there are now we will click the options panel again and we will right click add another text and call it music volume text and then we will add another text to the options panel and call it SFX volume text so go to music volume text and type in the words music volume making sure that the size is readable and centered and aligned and bold just to make it stand out and I'm doing the same for the sound effects volume text then I'm going to highlight both of them and using the rec tool scaling just make sure that all the words are inside the box for better effect click here in the rec transform shift alt center but then of course drag it over here and we'd like the music volume text to be up the top we'll drag the sound effects volume here we will click the options panel again right click UI button text mesh pro and we will label this one close button to obviously close the pause panel the options panel sorry and from the parent close button object we'll go to the child and change the word button to close and changing the size and then making sure we're on the close button parent holding down control clicking the text child object of the button clicking the rec tool scale it bigger and I will click the rec transform shift alt center and then just move it down I'm going to make it a bit smaller actually there you go that looks better and then we will click the main menu canvas scroll down and and we will delete the main menu component or script by right clicking on it and remove component we will then click the add component type in UI manager so now we have the UI manager script on the main menu canvas which is not the main menu canvas anymore it is the adventure avenue canvas and this script needs a black screen so we will go over here just to make sure we'll put a locket 
so it stays in place so no mistakes are made. And then in the Adventure Avenue canvas, we'll click and hold the black screen, drag and drop it into the black screen. We will tick Fade from Black, or whichever colour you have in this case. And then in the string here, we will name the main menu scene. And the level select will be called select level. And then the pause screen, we use the pause panel. And the options screen, we use the options panel. And the UI manager, of course, needs the health text and health image, which we haven't done yet. And we can do that now by clicking on the Adventure Avenue canvas and making sure we untick the lock. And we'll right click, create empty, and call it UI. I will just drop down the pause panel and the options panel and I will bring up the UI here, just drag it up there. And then we will create another empty object and we will call it health image. And add an image component to it. And we will click it, go control D and we'll change this one to coin image. And then click health image again. And then in the inspector, in the image, source image, sprite, we will click health bar 3. Double click health bar 3 to insert it. And then the coin image and the inspector image, coin icon. I will just unselect the pause panel and unselect the options panel. If we just get rid of the black screen for a moment by unticking this little box here, you can see the health image and the coin image, which they are behind each other, so you can see one image at this point. But we will add, right click on the health image, the UI, text, And we will call the health image text health text. And we'll in the inspector text mesh pro, we'll put the number three, make it bold. And 60. And I'll change the color just so we can see it. And in the coin image, we'll do the same. What we could do is select the health text, control C and then D. Click and drag and drop it into the coin image. And we can change it to say coin text. And making sure we select the image text, we will click here, Shift Alt Top, Center Top, and 
and then holding the health image and health text we shall move this up just scroll out a bit using the scroll wheel and place it right there and we'll do the same for the coin image and coin text now we can place these in the Adventure Avenue canvas scrolling down in the inspector and we will grab the health text and place it in the health text health image we will grab the health image parent and place it in there and in the coin text we'll just grab the coin text and place it in there and I will just save for now and we should probably put the options panel inside the pause panel and then we shall add the music and sound effects slider to the options panel Now we can go back to Adventure Avenue Canvas and scroll down in the inspector and add the music volume slider into the music volume slider variables. And then File, Save, Save Project. And then we click the music slider again and then Spectre scroll down and we need to put an on value change object here which is the Adventure Avenue Canvas go to UI Manager and set music level and then we do the same for sound effects drag and drop the canvas Adventure Avenue Canvas into here, change the no function to UI Manager, sound effects level, and this will make you be able to change the volume of the sound in the project. We need to go back to the black screen and tick it, and save and if all went well, we should be able to press play and see everything work. As you saw, the black screen went away, so that was good. But we'll go to Assets, Scenes, Main Menu. I'm just going to save it again. And I shall press play. Click New Game, see the black screen fade away, and the menu's not coming up, so I'm just going to press the play button again, and in the main menu scene I forgot to change the level name to match the scene we changed the name to. So making sure that the Adventure Avenue is the same as the first level. And I'll just save that. And then we'll go back to Adventure Avenue. Clicking the Adventure Avenue canvas. Dropping down the pause panel. 
and clicking the resume button, scrolling down and adding the Adventure Avenue Canvas. Then we will access from the No function the UI Manager script and resume. Go to Options and do the same. Level Select button. In the Exit button, Adventure Avenue Canvas object into the OnClick method, UI Manager script. Finding. finding the correct function for it, but I labelled mine the wrong, sorry. It's supposed to be main menu button. So clicking the main menu button in the pause panel scroll down in the inspector, making sure the Adventure Avenue canvas is in here, in the on-click, UI Manager, Main Menu. Then we drop down the Options panel, go to the Close button, scroll down, add the on-click method, Adventure Avenue Canvas again object, UI Manager and Close Options. And then we File, Save, File, Save Project. Go back to the main menu. And we should be able to click Play. Click New Game. And as you see, the black screen disappeared. And I am still unable to bring up the menu, sorry about this. I will just click the play button again. So we need to add the player and the systems manager so it will work. So we'll go in the project tab to assets, prefabs, level pack folder, and add the player into the scene. I will just move him closer to the camera. And then we will place the systems manager in there as well. Giving it time to process and add itself in there. And here's the sound effects that is made throughout the scenes. After adding the player prefab and systems manager prefab, I will save it. Go back to the main menu and now hopefully this time it will play. And it works. We can make the volume go up and down and even the sound effects. I'll close that, resume, and we can even move our player around and jump. Of course the camera is not attached just yet, we will do that in another video. This video has gotten a bit too long now. I will pause it here and we will come back to this at a later point. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.